I, I am a little nervous, Bob. Um, this is a tremendous honor. Um, you know, first and foremost, I have to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the talents to play this game with the family um, to support me day in, day out. Um, I'm his humble servant right now, and um, I, it is, I can't say it enough how important you know, my faith is to, to how, how I play the game and who I am. So um, I'm, just, I'm just blessed, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for, for where I am. Um, I love playing basketball. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is something I've been doing since I was, what, mom, dad, too, with Fisher Price goals. I mean, um, my grandma is here. She, we were talking about it yesterday. Um, she used to be my commentator. She used to be Bob Fitzgerald for me. Um, counting down the scores. I hit a game winning shot or whatever, and I'd stumble over and give her a high five and stuff like that. So, um, from that beginning to, to be standing here in front of you today, it's an incredible journey. Um, a lot has gone into it. A lot of great people that I've met along the way that have every bit of you know, to do with that trophy um, as I do. And I'm going to try to get through, uh, obviously, the people that are here and um, people that are watching that are, have been extremely significant in, in, in my journey. Um, but if, obviously, I don't get to you and you, you had a part in it, um, you know, please understand that. Um, this, this hasn't sunk in at all. Um, I'm on cloud nine for sure. Obviously, we're in the middle of a playoff run, and, and that's the most important thing. Uh, but today is a celebration for sure, and we want to be able to take the time to really appreciate what, what this means, and um, and that's why we're here. So I'll try to explain how I feel the best I can, but uh, just bear with me. Uh, I got to start with my wife. Um, uh, we met when we were 14, 15 years old in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the last seven, eight years have been amazing. Uh, we've both grown into adults. <laughs> we've uh, you know, moved cross country together, started a new life. And you're my backbone. You allowed me to, to do what I do, uh, to focus on basketball and my career um, and still you know, I have a family. That's the sacrifices you make are unbelievable, and uh, I can't thank you enough for who you are as a person, how you challenge me, how you inspire me every single day. We have a beautiful daughter, one on the way. Um, she's over there smiling at me. <laughs> um, just, I love you so much, and I can't thank you enough for just being there for me. You know, day in day out, whether I have a good game, a bad game. We lose, we win. Um, when I go home, things are good, and and that that's comforting to know. And um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for everything you've done for me, and you deserve a round of applause for sure. <laughs> Mom, Dad, uh, they did a great job of explaining it so far, but I think it can't be understated how much. My brother and I and my sister appreciate just who you are. Um, you're the example for us. You handled a 16-year NBA career and had us three and um, you know, raised us the right way. Mom, you are our, our spiritual guidance, our, our disciplinarian at times because you were around uh, when Pops was away. Obviously, if, if we were in real trouble, he'd come home with and uh, and take care of business. but. Um, just the way that you, you know, raised us, um, not taking any slack. Obviously, we knew that sports was important to us and our family, but there are priorities in life. And obviously, your faith is, is, is first and foremost. Um, you know, how we did in school growing up was important. If we didn't handle that business, then there were no, no privileges. We, I remember sitting out my first middle school game because I didn't handle my stuff at home. That's a pretty embarrassing moment if you go to, you know, to your first middle school game and you have to tell your, your, your team, hey, fellas, I can't play tonight. I didn't do the dishes at home. And they're like, what? Like, what are you so just that 
that lesson taught me there's more to, there's more to life than basketball there's uh, obviously the most important thing is, is your family and taking care of each other um, loving each other no matter what and I and regardless if I were to play basketball or not I know you guys love me without a shadow of a doubt you would encourage me in any part of life that I or any path that I take I would have taken so just thank you so much and pops you're the example of what a true professional is on and off the court you I, I remember a lot of your career um, and to be able to follow in your footsteps it uh it means a lot to me this is special um I'm really proud of you know what you were able to do in your career and um, I don't take that for granted at all. A lot of people um, thought I had it easy with, with the pops playing, you know, in the NBA. But it was, uh, it was. A, I'll get to that part down the road. But it was an interesting journey, and um, just who you are. You you made it okay for me to have a family at my age when I when I started it, and to know that um, you take care of your business, you know, you, you you'll be all right. So so thank you so much. Oh man, the tissues. Uh, my brother Seth is here. Um, I'm proud of you, man. We uh, we had some battles growing up. A, you, know, you challenged me every single day when we played one on one in the backyard. Um, I always joke our games would go on all night, and it would usually end for two reasons, or one of two reasons. One, my mom would come in and say we were disturbing the neighbors because it was too late and about to bounce the ball. They would maybe call over and tell them to shut up over there. Uh, or two, you get mad because I was beating you, and you say <laughs> you say I was cheating because I wouldn't give you a foul call. <laughs> And you take the ball and run in and, until I said, all right, you can have that foul check up at the top of the key. <laughs> so those, those battles I'll never forget. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun just seeing you, how you've grown, um, and following your career. Um, you know, it's not easy having an older brother uh, that's playing in the NBA and obviously a dad that's done it before both of us. And the way that you're handling it is, is impressive. And you know, the sky's the limit for you. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, you keep making the family proud. Uh, Sidell, just, oh, man. The stories I could tell about us growing up. You made me watch all sorts of crazy movies, stuff that I should not know line for line. Um, but just uh, really proud of you and the decisions you've made growing up. Um, it, it's It's... It's amazing to see, and I love being able to just call you joking last night about what song is from what movie and kind of playing that game and just the stuff that never gets old is is really important to me no matter what happens in life. So um, I love that being the most consistent part of, of our relationship, and, and uh, I'm really proud of you as well. I keep looking at my notes, making sure I don't forget anybody. Grandma Candy, I'm, I'll always be your number one. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. Um, I got a grandma, Grandma Ducky, who's probably watching at home right now. Um, my dad's mom, who it's the afternoon, probably East Coast time. She's probably flipping back and forth between this and the Braves game <laughs> to uh, check the score because she never misses a game. But I know she's watching and just want to say I love you, Grandma. I know Granddaddy Jack is looking down on us and is, is, is extremely proud of, of our family and where we are. Um, and that, that means a lot to me. So I hope you're proud as well. And uh, just I love you. Your turn. <laughs> uh, my boy Bryant Barr. Um, man, we, uh, we've been through a lot in the last, what, seven, eight years since, since our freshman year at Davidson. Um, you're like you know, another brother to me, um, my best friend who challenges me spiritually, challenges me as a man, um, and also encourages me and supports me in everything that I do. Um, and I really appreciate that. Um, you know, from the first time we stepped a foot on Davidson's campus, we had a little shootout. And whoever made the half-court shot didn't have to pay for dinner at the local pizza joint. Obviously, he won. So we get in the car and go down to the pizza spot and order, you know, a bunch of food. And I pull the old I forgot my wallet trick because I obviously I lost my wallet on the way from the gym to the to the pizza spot. So uh, the next meal is on me, my man. 
we've come a long way. Um, just, just thank you for being there. Um, really proud of you. And, um, you know, just the story that, was, that we've been a part of is, is amazing. It's something that we'll, we'll always have with us, and uh, nobody can take it away from us. Um, I've had a lot of coaches that have helped me along the way. Obviously, Coach Curry, you, you, you're very humble the way that you've uh, approached this season. Um, you, we obviously had a great, talented roster, um, but there's definitely something to say about what you and your staff have been able to accomplish in, in leading our group. This is a special year. Um, the way you've challenged us from day one to take advantage of the opportunity that was in front of us. Uh, we're still obviously in the middle of this, this, this path and this fight, but um, I'll, I'll speak for my team, but I've enjoyed this year more than any other. And um, obviously winning has a lot to do with that, but the preparation that you guys have brought every single day, um, not letting us get complacent, but not letting us get too big of a head about who we are as a team. Uh, goes a long way, and I think you're a huge reason of why we are here to, uh, today. So thank you very much um, you know, for being you and, and putting together this great staff that's sitting over here right here. I could go through every single guy. Uh, I know um, there's a huge reason why we are successful. So thank you very much to everybody um, that we see day in, day out. Um, Coach Brown, who's my high school coach back in Charlotte, I know he's watching. Thank you for your encouragement every single day. Um, you got me started, and uh, I appreciate you. And Coach McKillop from Davidson, um, man, he, he's a big reason why I have the confidence that I do, why I have the spirit about basketball and life. And it, it's, it's special to know that I can represent, you know, the Davidson basketball program up here today on this podium. Um, it's a it's a great day to be a Wildcat. Um, you know, I hope everybody is proud at home, and I'll be forever living the, the TCC principle, trust, commitment, care that you taught me from day one, um, and everything that I do. So thank you so much uh, for your guidance and your 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 challenging me every day and. And for my first workout, waving that white flag, asking me if I wanted to surrender. Um, I looked you in your face. I said, no, I'm going to keep fighting. And I've been rolling ever since. So thank you very much. To the Warriors organization, um, Joe, Peter, Rick, Bob, um, all, all your staff in the front office, everybody that works upstairs um, in the offices, we, we play for a first-class organization. and. You, you have to appreciate that. Um, there's, I love coming to work every day because of how you treat us, um, what you've done to change the culture around here, and just your leadership. So thank you very much for all your hard work um, and decisions you've made along the way. Obviously, we, we got an award, another award, the executive of the year. We should have had two more. Um, with the coach of the year and, and obviously Draymond and defensive player of the year, but I mean, just the, the way that we represent across the nation now and across the world is uh, everybody has a hand in it, and you guys are leading that charge. So thank you very much. Um, love playing for you guys. Uh, I got to talk about this guy right quick. Eric Hausen, who's in the back. He's going to be real embarrassed. <laughs> we, we got the best equipment manager in the league. I think these guys would, would agree. You probably have a you probably have a more official title than that, but uh, the the work you do day in day out taking care of us players. Sometimes we're a little needy. Sometimes uh, we might need an extra pair of socks, and it's our fault that we lost them. Um, but we appreciate everything that you do. Um, walking in the locker room, I see a new pair of shoes sitting in front of me with a sharpie in there, laced up. Um, those little things mean a lot. You just you start your game day routine. There's little things that you might take for granted day in day out, but I want you to know we appreciate everything that you do. So uh, I know you're proud to be still a part of this organiza organization. You've been here probably the longest. So um, well done, my man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Larry Riley is here, who, is, where are you, Larry? Are you here? He's the reason I'm here. <laughs> uh, he drafted me. 
Um, you know, he he saw potential in me coming out of college, uh, along with Don Nelson, obviously making those decisions. You a big reason why I'm here, taking a chance on a scrawny little kid from a you know a mid-major school. So, just want to say thank you for believing in me. Um, crazy how far we've come in six years, but just just thank you, man. I can't thank you enough for that that decision. Um, and all the rest of the Warriors staff, you know, Dan Martinez, Raymond Ritter, who we, we see every day. I see Lisa over there, um, Brett, Matt, all you guys that, uh, you know, handle our affairs on and off the court. Um, you make us look good, and we thank you for all the work that you do to put us out there, get our stories out there, allow us to help in the community. Um, all that, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, the, the work that we've been able to do and just – spreading across Dub Nation, it's its amazing. So thank you guys uh, for being there. Speaking of Dub Nation, we got, I say it all the time, we got the best fans in the league, man. Um, <laughs> speaking of the year I was drafted, we were awful. <laughs> we were awful. We, we won, I think, 23 games my rookie year. And years after that and finally cracked the ceiling and, and made the playoffs and you you walked in our arena back in what 09 and even before that and you wouldn't know that this was a losing team that that you know was well outside the playoff chase by the way that the energy in the arena was every single night so um thank you guys for the support every single night for making us have the, the best home court advantage. Um, we're going to need you tomorrow night as well uh, to bring that spirit. We love playing for you guys and we want to make you guys proud uh, by bringing home a championship and that's that's the ultimate goal. This is a minor checkpoint on that mission so um, you know we're, we're going make to make a strong push at this thing and uh, protect Warriors ground and everything that we do. Where's Ralph Walker at? Oh, Ralph. Where's Ralph? Oh, he's, he's, he's guarding the door. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, our head of security, man. Um, I've seen a lot of you the last three years. Uh, you at every event, uh, every practice, every game. You, you're our eyes when we, when we don't have them, um, and we appreciate you. Putting yourself out there and, and on any any time we need you, um, being there for us. So we appreciate you know everything that you've done, and I like that vest. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, people that are here, uh, my team at Octagon. Um, you know, I, I got the strongest team behind me, and I appreciate you know you guys and being there from day one. It's crazy, uh, Jeff, me in particular. This, can you imagine this, man? <laughs> you were there when my dad was playing, and uh, I came under the umbrella, and, and uh, you represent me well, and I appreciate everything that you've done and your whole team. Thank you very much. Um, so that's, that's all the people in particular. But you know, when I found out that uh, I'd won MVP yesterday, uh, I really didn't didn't know what to do. Um, we left the game. My f we were going back to the house, and I have a bunch of family in town, and um, they were being really weird from the time we I got out the car, like asking me weird questions, pulling me off to different areas of the house, and I I couldn't really figure it out. Um, and then my brother comes. He's like, "Hey, can you can you check something out in your closet? Can you show me some shoes?" And I'm like, "All right, cool." So we walk in the back and. There, my whole family are with this with the shirts on uh, that my team with Under Armour made, and I couldn't really read what it said at first. Uh, and they all walk in, and I, they have their cameras out, and they're just with the cheesiest smiles you could ever imagine, like just <laughs> with their phones. And I'm like, I'm looking at Seth, I'm looking at everybody, like what's going on? Like I got some on my shirt, or I don't know what's going on. So. Uh, I look, and my, my, my sister kind of points down. I'm, like, looking, and um, they all had basically how they're related to me. My, my, hus my husband is SC30, and at the bottom, in yellow font, it said MVP. And I couldn't read it at first, so I kind of take a, a, a further glance. I'm like, wait, what? Like, for, for real? 
I just break down crying and hugging, and it was it was a great moment that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, but after that, I I kind of just went and sat in the chair in the corner and just kind of thought about the journey. Um, it was an emotional 10 minutes, you know, just sitting there thinking about all the people that have helped me along the way. Um, and every little part of, of, of the story that made a difference in my life. And there were obviously good times and bad times, um, times I wanted to, to shut it down and, and times where you realize that all the hard work that you put into it was, was worth it. And it just made me realize how blessed and grateful I really am to be in this position, um, on this platform to be able to impact so many people across the world by just you know, trying to be myself. And my wife and I were sitting trying to think about what I was gonna say today and kind of what the message would be. And we came up with kind of four t ideals that uh, describe the journey the best way I know how, and that's faith, passion, drive, and will. Um, and I'll try to explain the best way I can. You guys will be a part of, of one of those. Obviously, my faith is I want to use this opportunity to, you know, shed light on, on who I am and, and what drives me to play the way that I do. Um, I do a little sign on the court every time I make a shot or make a good pass, and I pound my chest and point to the sky. And, it symbolizes that I have a heart for God, um, something that my mom and I came up with in college, and, and I do it every time I step on the floor as a reminder of, of who I'm playing for. And people should know who I represent and, and, and why I am who I am, and that's because of my Lord and Savior, so I can't say that enough. Um, the passion part is, is where my love for the game was bred, and I kind of got a the ultimate paradox for a story. I'm the son of a 16-year NBA veteran. Um, I remember a lot of his career. I was blessed to have a family that we, we never really struggled when I was growing up, thanks to my dad and his career. Um, you know, we had the means to do a lot growing up, but you would think that my future was set based on that fact, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, I was always the smallest kid on my, my team. When it comes to basketball, I was always the smallest kid on my team. I had a terrible, ugly catapult shot from uh, the time I was 14 because I wasn't strong enough to shoot over my head and I had to re reconstruct that over a summer and it was the worst three months of my life. Um, you'd think there were no hurdles or, or obstacles that I had to overcome, but um, even when I got to high school, I wasn't ranked. That's, you know, I wasn't ranked, I wasn't highly touted as a high school prospect. I had nobody really running, knocking on my door saying, please, please, please come play for our school until Coach McKillop called. And, um, you know, everything happens for a reason and there's, there's a story to, to everything. And, and if you take time to realize, you know, what, what your dream is and, and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports, whether it's in other fields, um, you have to realize that there's always work to do and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do and you'll put yourself in position to be successful. Um, and you have to have a passion about what you do. And basketball was mine and that's what's carried me to this point. Um, part of that passion is, is the drive to, to keep pushing on and that's with who you're surrounded by. These 14 guys sitting on the stage right here. Um, you guys push me every single day. Um, I'm going to go through and kind of just talk about you individually because you need to be highlighted as a part of this process, as a part of the team that we've built, um, and a reason why this trophy sitting here and hopefully another trophy will be sitting here in, in a couple of months. Um, LB, the Brazilian blur. Just seeing how fast you are right now, I mean, I can imagine when you were playing with that other MVP back in the day. Um, you know, you, your spirit in the locker room, you're the funniest dude on this team, maybe arguably, but you're, you're up there. You, uh, you just, you bring it every single day, man. Whether, you, whether you're playing 20 minutes, playing five minutes, whatever you're called on to do, you're an ultimate professional. And that goes a long way. Um, you, you've, I respect you so much for how you've handled this season. And uh, just thank you for being who you are. S. Dot, 
Man, your journey is crazy. I mean, everybody knows about how, where you've been and, and the fight that you've had. Um, and I love playing with you because you, you, you're low maintenance. You don't need it. You just go out there and hoop, and you, you, you do what you do. And we can count on you every single night to be ready to play um, and, and, and help us win games. And a lot of times it might not show up, you know, eye popping numbers on the stat sheet, but you help us win games every single night, man. And a big part of why we, why we are who we are. B Rush. I won't call you your nickname on, on live TV. <laughs> you, uh, you, it's your second, second go around with the Warriors. Uh, and, and obviously it's a little different than the last time you were here, but um, you're also the, the guy that when we come in every single day, whether it's practice, whether it's games, I know you're locked in and ready to go. And I know it's been tough. Um, you know, finding your niche with the, with this group, but your personality and the way that you play, um, and the way that you push us in practice, gets us ready. And there's going to be probably an opportunity for you to help us down the road, and, and we, we're going to need you. And um, just the way that you handle that situation is very impressive, and, and I appreciate that. I know that all the guys do as well. Speeds, Mo Spates, Mo Buckets. Man, your spirit on the court is 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 contagious, man. You just have fun playing the game. You're the biggest shooting guard in, in, the, in the league. <laughs> and you wear the lowest low tops on the team. So it's, it's like the biggest. <laughs> it's the, I'm confused when I watch you play. But I know when I come up with pick and roll, you're going to knock down that shot. You're going to get the crowd hype, talk to the other team. You're just going to enjoy playing basketball. And what that means and that competitive nature about you is special, man. So uh, keep doing what you're doing. Dre, Andre, um, we probably talk about golf more than we talk about basketball. <laughs> but the, the conversation we had two years ago, um, at Oracle Arena at half court. I remember that. Um, man, I'm about to cry on that one. That meant a lot to me because basketball is important to me, but my family and my faith are ten times more important to me, and you recognize that. And the, what you said on the court, um, I'll never forget that. And obviously the decision after that summer was, was big, but, um, man, that meant a lot to me. Um, and I just want to say thank you for that. I um, appreciate who, who you are as a player and as a person. Um, we have some crazy conversations when you're in the locker room. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you're the ultimate vet, ultimate professional. And, uh, man, I appreciate you. <laughs> Swag Zeely. Uh, <laughs> you are, uh, man. You know, it was a rough year last year, but you come back strong, man. You always have that determination and that drive that you can go out there and do anything on the court. My favorite part about Fest is, is when I come off a of pick and roll, and sometimes they'll trap me or double team me, and I don't throw him the ball. He gets so mad at me because <laughs> he wants that ball in that pain. He wants to drop step and get to his, his left shoulder and hit that right hook. But sometimes I can't get him the ball. And he's like, yo, did you see me on that last play? I'm like, yeah, I saw you, man. I just couldn't get you the ball. Like, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm not looking you, well, sometimes I look you up, but I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm on, you made a play last night that uh, I got, I got more excited about your play last night than any other play in the game. So that's just our relationship and I love it. And uh, your will to keep getting better is, is amazing. It's going to take you a long way in this league. So keep being who you are. Turn that swag down just a little bit though. <laughs> Draymond, man. You set the greatest screens, man. You and Bogues. <laughs> He's calling himself the screen setters. We got a little joke that D-Lee came up with. Um, every time I walk around with these two guys, they call themselves Steph Curry and the screen setters. <laughs> but uh, your, your spirit, man, you're the voice of this team. I try to lead by example and try to be as consistent as possible, but your voice and your spirit um, every single day, whether it's going well, whether you're making shots, missing shots, it doesn't matter. You're the, you're the same person. And we can count on that every single night. And that was what makes you who you are um, and is a part of you, your story and your journey. 
Um, our text message conversation last night just put it in perspective just how crazy this whole situation is, man. And, uh, whew. <laughs> Not many people knew what I was talking about, but we'll leave that. <laughs> Go over to this side. Uh, HB, the Black Falcon. <laughs> Oh, man. From day one, you're my locker mate. You always to my right. Uh, you just seeing you kind of mature into your game. You're obviously crazy young when you came in the league out of Carolina. But um, I remember the first time I met you um, was at Chris Paul's camp in Wake Forest. We went. And you... <laughs> You were looking for a foam roller out of a trunk of some car because you want to take care of your body. I'm like, I've never seen a high school player actually want a foam roll or stretch or do any of that. This guy was like not going to go on the court unless he found that foam roll to take back to the hotel. <laughs> and things don't change, bro. <laughs> you are wise beyond your years um, and a huge catalyst for our success the last three years. Um, what you did your, your rookie year in the playoffs um, and just getting better and better every single year has been huge for us. And um, you got my vote when you run for uh, whatever office after you're, uh, after you're done playing. You, got, you can probably ask the mayor of Oakland right there for some advice, but I got, you got my vote for sure. Just, just holla, Justin Holiday. Um, this is our first year together. But your story and how you've had to fight uh, to make a team and, and to establish yourself as NBA players is amazing. And uh, your confidence when you get on the floor, you want to make plays, you want to do you know, your best every single night. Um, and that's inspiring for sure. Um, you know, you, you've, you've been there, uh, a huge presence for us all year. And I know that um, this has been a great year for you, and we, we want to capitalize on it. And, and I want to see you do some great things. So keep working, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you're a special player that deserves to be on this level. And um, I'm just proud of the way that you've done, done what you've been able to do. My splash, bro. Woo! Clay Thompson. Um, man. You're the quietest guy. You're actually a lot, lot better than you used to be, but you're um, definitely a quiet guy that every year I've gotten to know you so much better and just seeing how much time you put into the game, um, how you attacked your NBA career to the fullest. Um, our time this past summer with Team USA was, was something I'll never forget. Um, it was a great experience. I think it took our relationship to a whole new level. Um, you know, I know we don't get to hang out much outside of outside of the practice and games, but you got your dog, I got my family and all that stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> when I get on the floor and I see number 11 suited up with me, I feel good about our success and our chances to win a game because I know that you can go off at 37 and a quarter. You can lock up any you know guard or wing in this league. And... You make my job easy when I come down the floor and I see you on the other wing, just get you the ball because I know it's going up and, and most of the time it's going in. So um, I know hopefully we have a long future together, man, and we can do some special things and, you know, hopefully be the best backcourt to ever play this game. And, and that's something that uh, is our mission. And we should challenge each other every single day in that regard and, and make it happen. A, B. Bogut, Andrew Bogut, he's our, he's our eraser, man. Um, when he first got traded uh, to our team, uh, I was hurt and he was hurt. And the team went on a road trip and we were left behind for treatment. And I took him, picked him up at the hotel and we got in my car and drove to my apartment in San Francisco. It's a little small two-bedroom spot. <laughs> and I was kind of nervous to show him my spot because it's basically, you're not going in my bedroom, so we're just going to go in that one little sitting area. And he's seven foot two and I had the smallest couch. So he's sitting with basically his knees and his throat watching the, uh, watching the game. But ever since then, um, I've seen how much the basketball means to you, how hard you work through injuries, through 
uh, the ups and downs to get ready for big moments. And I know this is a big year for you being healthy and being able to contribute uh, at a high level every single night to help our team. So, um, man, you make us look good on defensive end. And the way that you, you challenge, you know, whoever you're facing is, is impressive. And, and um, you know, I appreciate just you put, your, you put your body on the line every single night. And that makes us better. So thank you. Respect. D. Lee, man, we are the OGs of this team. We've been here the longest since, what, 2010. We always have these little inside jokes that nobody else knows about because <laughs> nobody else was here. And uh, it's special. Um, you know, you're an all-star. You're a high-caliber player that's done some great things in your career. And this year has been different. Um, but the way we talked about it yesterday, the way that you handle it the, with the ultimate goal in mind, being ready every single night when you're called upon, that's as huge a part of, of our success as anything because it could go the other way quickly. So, um, you know, a great friend that, man, this, the, the change that's been happening in this organization, I think me and you appreciate it the most. And um, we got to finish this thing off so that we can get that ring and, and really celebrate. McAdoo and Coos, I don't mean to lump you two together, but you're the, you're the two new guys. I was a Coos, been here a little longer. The Santa Cruz D-League champs. <laughs> get them. <laughs> appreciate uh, all your hard work coming in every single day, working before or after practice. That sets the tone for our practice. When we see guys out there getting it in, you make us want to get out there and work. Um, so thank you so much for, for who you are, being who you are. And um, you're, you're a huge part of this team, just your spirit and your presence every single day. Whether, you're, uh, whether you play or not, you're, you're always into it. And we appreciate that. And you both got some great careers ahead of you. Whew. Got through that. Um, I, I go through that that long spiel about my teammates just to say that um, you know we share a lot of memories, and this is just a snapshot of the journey. And we'll remember this year, no matter how it finishes, really. But we have a huge goal in mind, and we'll remember this year, and we'll be able to talk about it for years to come. Every time we see each other, we'll remember this moment and moments that are, that are hopefully happen in a couple months, and it all means so much to us. Um, how much sacrifice we put into it, how much work, um, just the consistency that it takes to get to where we are. Um, it takes all 14 guys. You can't have one bad apple in this in this you know equation, and uh, we don't. So. We're truly special. Or great, I'm grateful to have this, this, this team behind me. This is not possible without you guys. I want everybody to get a fingerprint on that so I can remember you know, who I rolled with during this year. And uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> All right, I've been long-winded, but this is the last part. Um, I talked about faith, passion, Obviously, the drive with the guys that I've been around and the guys that surround me every single day. Uh, but a part of that is having the will to succeed. Um, you know, knowing that you put the work in and have the confidence to let it show. Um, what I tell people is just be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to live anybody else's story. Um, sometimes people make it seem like you have to have certain prerequisites or or a crazy life story in order to be successful in this world. Um, but the truth is, you, you really don't. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you have or don't have, what you lack, what you have too much of. But all you need to have is, is faith in God, an undying passion for what you do or what you choose to do in this life, and a relentless drive and the will to do whatever it takes to be successful and whatever you put your mind to. Make sure you live in the moment and work your butt off every single day. And I hope I inspire people all around the world to just be themselves, be humble, and be grateful for all the blessings in your life. And I'm truly honored to be your MVP this year. Thank you very much.